Mr. Hadid, let's start with your own story, uh, the story that your family passed down to you uh, about the very early times of the occupation and actually where you were born. I was born in uh, Nazareth, Palestine, in 1948. My parents uh, and few other neighbors have gone down to, uh, uh, to the harbor saying that there are some refugees coming from uh, Jewish families uh, coming from uh, Europe, two Jewish families that we picked up at uh, the Haifa uh, 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 Harbor. My mother's home was in Nazareth. When she had me, she went to, uh, to her mother to, to have me when she was uh, about to have, have me. We went back and I was nine days old with my sister, Sana, who was uh, at the time about a year and a half, two years old. Uh, went back to Safad. When we arrived to Safad, apparently Safad was uh, completely uh, or partially uh, taken over by Jewish population. My mother came to, to the gates of my, our uh, community, which was like more of a uh, Hadith quarters, uh, to get into the house and we were locked out. And she asked if she can have a, uh, a blanket for me as it was getting a bit cold. And they wouldn't even let her into the house to take a single photo. What, uh, what caught my attention is uh, the, uh, what happened this time, that people were traveling from Gaza out. It touched me because I felt so uh, attached to it because of what my mother have gone through. I didn't realize it because I wasn't, I was a, a child, I was a nine days old child. When I saw that, it uh, touched me deeply to see how difficult my mother had to, to go through to get me alive, to at least to a refugee camp. Uh, your daughters, Bella and Gigi, they shared their opinion about what happens in Palestine on their social media. Uh, and they look sensitive on the matter as well. My, my kids always have followed uh, their intuition when it comes to human torture, to human nature, human what happens to the humans on earth, from uh, uh, the disaster in Turkey to uh, uh, the famine in, uh, in Africa and the uh, homelessness in Southeast Asia. They have been involved in these things over the years. Uh, building schools for uh, uh, through uh, UNICEF and so on. So there's always been a, a uh, humanitarian issue in their in their blood. Nothing to do with just being Palestinian. Do you or your daughters, because of your position in the Palestinian issue, get any criticism or blowback from your uh, ideas or views? Uh, we get threats. We have uh, you know. I, I get a lot of uh, hate mail, and uh, they uh, they actually published our phone numbers on uh, on online, and we start getting uh, hate uh, phone calls and uh, threats, uh, from death threats to uh, uh, major attacks. We had to change our numbers and so on. And when people start to speak about Palestine anti-Semitism, especially in the West, is a big deal. What do you think of anti-Semitism? Well, the world is a European phenomenon. They, they use it themselves, uh, anti-Semitism, because that was what they used to use in, in, in uh, Eastern Europe and, and the West against, uh, against uh, the, uh, anybody that came from that part of the world, which is, I'm a Semite. So I cannot be anti-me. So they can't. They never can say I'm anti-Semitic because I am Semitic origin. Mm -hmm. I am. I was born in the land of Galilee. I was born in the land of Jesus. The three religions came together. So we cannot be anti them, and they can't be anti us. Being a refugee, borning a refugee, since then, what is the most painful thing that you remember? The most important. My mother at one time, her her wish was to be buried in next to her mother's uh, body graveyard in Nazareth. 
and we couldn't get her to go there. They won't let us take her body there. And the same thing with my father, and the same thing with my grandmother. So these are uh, very painful times for me, as I wish I can, be buried, I can be buried where I was born. And these kind of things, we can never happen. No one should be allowed to feel that pain that he cannot never come back home where he was born or never come back dead or alive.